speaking of an odor from the nether regions. Several people have sent in a quote from Twitter, I guess over the weekend, from Ryback. Have you caught wind of any of this? I caught I caught wind of it. Um, I saw somebody had, well, several people had been taking him to task for what he said, which did seem to be uh, very uh, out of place or misdirected anger toward Vince McMahon's mother, who just died at like 100 years old. Well, let's uh, read this just so we have it here on the record. And again, Ryback was a wrestler with WWE. Yeah, that's that's right. You must remind everybody because it's been like two years and he was forgettable 15 minutes after he was on the air. Yeah, Punk, Punk said he's the one that about fractured him on numerous occasions. Punk was like the first guy to come out and say, this guy's an idiot and this guy hurt me. Of course, Ryback denied it. And then I think Ryback has had problems with Various people he was aligned with Heyman. I don't know if they necessarily get along anymore. WWE let him go. Since that time, he's had a very curious presence on social media. At times, requesting people participate in polls to determine where he will appear next. The option at which usually is retire or don't. Yes. Yeah, by far the winning choice is please retire, don't return. AEW has not seemed interested. WWE, you would think, would be his only hope. and. Let's go to this quote here from Twitter. Vince McMahon, like most promoters, has an insatiable urge to have control. He had no control watching his mom get beat up as a child, which is a horrendous thing for a kid to witness. As their whore mom tries to... I can't Jesus even, Christ, I can't, you can't just, say it with a straight face. I can't because it just goes so off the rails. Which is a horrendous thing for a kid to witness as their whore mom tries to make ends meet. Vince has failed to evolve. Fuck you, old man. <laughs> so clearly he's looking for work. Yeah, I mean, obviously. <laughs> no, I, think, I mean, well, we, we've, we've come to the realization the guy's a fucking mental case over the last couple of years, every, every time he runs his pie hole. But it, he's still very mad at vince mcmahon that you and you can't even call vince names you have to call his poor deceased mother who just died at a hundred years of age and had nothing to do with your rotten wrestling career you have to call her a whore as a backhanded way of of expressing sympathy on vince mcmahon for not being a, what the fuck is the matter with this guy is he just that upset that he was a complete and utter failure in the professional wrestling business and nobody wants to work with him or see him again? That he has to call a hundred-year-old innocent woman a whore? A whore? I don't know what his issue is. I mean, we could all assume things. We could all guess things. I mean, this is a guy who was a wrestling fan certainly built up his body in the traditional sense of 1980s professional wrestlers, found himself out of work, at least from professional wrestling. I don't know if he does anything on the side, like Uber or whatever, rents his place on Airbnb. But what else is he going to do? I mean, and then he goes on social media, and if he's trying to build a fan base, I don't think it's going the way he hoped. <laughs> it's hard behavior to understand, and... uh Sadly, when people lose it a little bit like this, things typically don't get better. They just keep getting worse. But that, he's got to he's got to blame Vince, apparently, for, you know, gosh, this didn't work, so it's all Vince's fault. I, if, if it was Steve Austin sitting there, I'd say, well, you might have a point, Stone Cold. You probably could have got over a little better, but fucking fat back? Fuck him just for, I never even met Vince's mother. Fuck him just for calling her a whore. Do you think he's done with wrestling, or do you think uh, he's perfect material for control your narrative? I don't think wrestling's done with him. I mean, there's no clamor for, oh my God, there's no dream match. There's no, where is he? When's he going to come back? The people who are asked directly by him indicate to him that they'd like not to see any more of him. So I'm not sure that there's going to be a bidding frenzy coming up anytime soon for Ryback's services.